Hey guys, uh, Variety Nerd here, back for episode number four. Uh, last time we had just gotten the livestock farm and completed the province of Jiangling. And next step, I was hoping to finish off, uh, collect these two counties to get the whole commandery of uh, Chengsa under my control. Uh, but first, I'm going to see if I can get peace with Liu Biao. This will be short. That way it keeps our kind of northern border safe for a short period of time. Peace. He is well, he's not willing to do it. Uh, what would make that work? Oh, Jesus. <coughs> uh, yeah, I mean, that's a lot of money. And then obviously the territory. What does he even want, anyways? No. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. Um. Do you want food? Yeah, no, he doesn't want food. He's not that hard up for it. Okay. Alright, fine. No, tr no peace. I guess it's just too soon after he declared war, anyway, so. Hopefully he's still pretty weak. My again. Uh, so can we move you guys? I can move you, I think, right? Ready uh, let's just force march you. Uh, to Cheng's... Well, can we actually go here? That would be three. Actually, it's better just to go straight there, I guess, eh? Cheng Sa. And we will have you uh, running as well. All the way over to Changsa. Actually, I just realized this guy could come this way. And the garrison's gonna be pretty weak for the time being. What I could do is I could raise another army here. Uh, no, no, I cannot. Never mind. <laughs> Don't have the money for it. Uh, two a court. Oh, you got an administrator slot and a chancellor slot. Okay. Um, minis. What would the administration slot give me? Um, one plus one army, plus fifteen percent income. Small sources. Uh, no desire for higher office until character. Uh, rank 4 and negative 30% uh, corruption. But then what she gives is 10% 10, 10 construction cost and plus 1k growth. Not massive growth, but decent. Uh, he does, he gives extra industry, growth, construction cost, reduction, and commerce, silk, and spice. Mm. He just gives public order one pop growth and negative fifteen percent construction. Uh, so he does. How many armies do I actually have the ability to um, have? Armies provided three. Okay, so I can do three armies total. Um, go back in here. So this would give me another army. Any of these guys kind of. Uh, general discontent, death of a friend, desires higher court position. Lu Su is currently employed as an insignee. So he can't do anything. Um, actually, what does Chancellor give me? Uh, peasantry income. No desire for higher office until character rank 8. They can trigger a civil war and character is part of your faction council. Plus their income, their salary goes up by 250. Jesus. Here their salary just goes up by 100. Oh, no, it's variable. There it goes up by 200, but for him it goes up by 100. Interesting. Why is that? Something that made it see. Chief Clerk, and this guy is it. They're both Chief Clerks. 85 versus 70. 
Not really sure why. Um. Hmm. Decreases ambition to gain independence as a governor. So actually, she might be good as um to use as a chancellor because of that. And you both have dutiful, or you have dutiful and you have loyal. Um. Hmm. Uh, and I mean, you both. I don't know if I want to. That's expensive to do. I think I might just do administrator. I'll put. Um, I guess for the time being, I'll put Luf. Ooh, Quan Quien's also level four. He's at thirty-one satisfaction versus Lu Fan is at fifty-seven. So he has a general discontent. Death of friend desires higher court. Um. Oh, he's getting worse. So I guess I'm. Oh shit! He'd give negative five public order. <laughs> um. I mean, I could make you chancellor. You'd have absolutely zero effect on anything there. Um. Yeah, that actually would probably be better to put you in one of these court positions. So we'll put you as chancellor then. For an administrator, we'll give it to Lufan. Plus 40% income from commerce, silk, and spice. Take 7% construction costs. Plus 15% from industry. Plus 2k growth. Plus 3 public order. Um. Chang Sa. Getting negative one. Don't know why. But we'll put you in. Um, oh, wait. No, it might be better to put you in Chang Sa. We get more income from that. More commerce income. Yeah, there's way more commerce in Chang Sa. So we'll put you in Chang Sa. <laughs> Alright. Let's get a reform here. Uh, still going down here. Negative two for mustering turns. Nice. We'll take that. Plus two starting rank for peasants. Definitely. And let's see if anybody wants to trade and do a quick deal. Trade agreement. Woo, UN Shu says yes. I like this. Negotiate. Uh, maybe we can get some money. No. You don't want to go for that. Let's go for... No, you don't want to go for that either. Uh, yeah, no. Okay, fine. We'll just go for trade agreement. We give us 451, which isn't huge, but... So it is agreed. It is something. And, actually, that pretty much covers... That gives me that pretty much covers most of my court costs right now, so that's good. Ever upwards. Why are you losing um Neg twenty faction support, next seven casualties? Why is he losing military supplies? I am the sword. I have no idea. Uh but we'll see if that changes next turn. We offer peace. Oh. For now. Wow, um, you want peace, but you want all this crap. <laughs> uh, no, no, Dong Zhuo, no. This is an insult. <laughs> oh, he's so crazy. He is so fucking crazy. Uh, okay, so now they are okay. So it was just that one turn that they were losing military supplies. Okay. Um, so just armies, we can't do anything with our commanderies, so let's just, yeah, let's just have you guys move down to Chang Sa, keep going, and then we'll, got, we'll have you guys eventually just kind of go with um, regular movement, just so you can start planishing at the same time. Um, 
Ooh, what's this? Faction Council. Invoke the Council. What do we get for a mission? Uh, overpopulation. Overcrowding can be like a sickness, gradually weakening a settlement until its demise. We should avoid letting settlements stagnate. By upgrading them, we ensure they can house larger workforces when needed. Construct a building from the following chain. Settlement administration. Okay. And we get support from the peasantry. And his satisfaction will go up by 10 for 10 turns. Alright, we'll have to look at that maybe next turn. For your consideration. What does Yuan Chao want? wants uh regular food for 10 two food for 10 turns so that's 20 food overall or oh, and expert leather everybody wants the bloody experts leather it's actually pretty good uh and then <laughs> form coalition oh you went you went chow um you funny man i mean you're all the way over there i'd rather I mean, I'm more likely to coalition with Yuan Shu, to be honest. Um, yeah, I'm gonna reject that. I don't really want a coalition with you. I probably should just get a coalition with you and uh, Yuan Shu. It's actually a good idea. Oh, should have seen that one. Wang Quang declared war on Gao Kan. Um, I we're gonna need you to. With courage. Yeah, that uh, wasn't the best of ideas to move both of you, I guess. Um, the peasants. What does he have? Actually, he's got some cav archers, max band, and G militia. Remain pure. But I can send you back. Standard stance. Forward. Um. Give you some. Uh oh. Guo, what is that Guo Jia? Is he uh, what kind of traits does he have? Um. Oh, for enemy armies, negative thirty for enemy armies. Okay. And increases ambition to gain independence as an administrator. So let's not make you an administrator then. Hmm. So we'll do that. And then we will get some we get some mercenary archers. Um now let's get some crossbows. Crossbows are excellent. Remain firm. At ease. Let's just have you walk so you replenish now. Uh, diplomacy is done. So the coastal trading port has been built. Got some more people of merit. Uh, we have got an eavesdropper. Just plus two authority, plus five cover costs for enemy spies. For uh, if the carriage prime minister, heir, or faction leader. Um, that's the appointment of the general. And trade route suspended. Oh, shit, what happened? Oh! Oh! Wow! Alright. Oh, that sucks. Because now I have like a hundred and five. Oh, that sucks. Um, let's see. We already have a trade deal for food with you, eh? 
Um, you're rich. What about you die? Quang, Quang. We are listening. Quang, Quang will want some food. Uh, let's go with 200. Nope. So 180. 150. 130. Oh. 120. 118. Oh. 19. Okay, so that should this should help a bit. Accept this gracious compliment. I wasn't paying attention to how much money I had. Oh dear. Troops. <laughs> we think this will meet with your approval. So you and Shu is going to give me 1694 gold. To acknowledge his legitimacy. I wonder if I can get more um, of a regular payment. Uh, let's go 200. No. Oh. Uh, 160. One. Oops. Uh, 140. No, 145, 48, okay, 148, multiplied by 10, that's 1,480, right? How much was he going to offer me? Oh, well that was better. Uh, I'll just take that then. 1694 is definitely better. Uh... At least if my math is right. Uh, the Yu Biao will not be happy, and neither will Dong Zhuo. That's fine. I don't care about either of them. So legitimacy is basically his uh, uh, one of his fact unique faction things. So he constantly asks people for legitimacy. Good way to get some money from him, though. Oh, coming of age. Oh, coming of age. Sun Si. Nice. My son is of age. Patient versus reckless. Patience is understanding, you suggest to a comrade, and that waiting is the cornerstone of victory. The master Sun, uh, Sun Tzu teaches this. Your comrade sees it differently. Victory, like life, is lived in the moment. Neither fortune nor flowers last forever, so do not let them pass. Uh, so we go with patience or recklessness. Um... Greatly deepens relationship between Jian Quan or we'll go with recklessness. I feel like uh, I feel like with our heroic hero heroism uh, um, faction unique thing, reckless kind of works better in that context. So we've got more people of merit, some friends, and. Relationship lost between Sun Jian and Lu Bu. I didn't. Mm, our forces met in battle. My army is clearly superior. I didn't know we had a battle. I guess that was probably before the game started. Um. Oh, so he ran back. Very smart. Um. Let's just keep moving you this way. Healing you up as you go. It's going to take a while for you to be fully healed. Probably should have just walked you the entire time. Cheng Sa. So we get extra food and pop growth. More peasantry income. Not a bad thing. More income is always good. And... Serve integrity. We are going to put you in... Uh, we're gonna put you in the forest here. Maybe we can uh, catch his army out at some point. 
Um, Marching. Actually, no. Let's put it in Jiang Liang because if he does take it, I won't Not really be able to use it. Actually, I realized shit. I just remembered there were no towers there, so I didn't have to do that. Oh well. Oopsie. I was thinking if there were towers there, it would be difficult, but uh, there's no towers in a livestock farm, so. Oh well, I can still set up a trap. Um, let's see if I can put you in the trees here. Um, because you'll be coming this way, 95% chance in the hilly forest. So I'll put you there. Spout ever upwards to heaven. Patience can Ambush stance. I must refuse. Actually, what if I were to actually ambush you at the river? Would that actually? I, I don't have the movement for that. Oops, didn't mean to move. Uh, okay, well, ambush you there. Hope for the best. You got a merchant, plus four cunning, plus ten percent trade influence only if the character is prime minister, heir, or faction leader. So let's. Um, can we put that on you? What is this? Plus six satisfaction. Uh. uh from a minister to commander. Uh, what are these? Plus ten percent trade. I kind of really like that six satisfaction though. Lu Fan. Let's go look at uh, what Lu Fan has here. Um, let's give you uh, the builder. Negative one construction time. Any accessories that would help? Give him some satisfaction. Plus two public order faction wide. Only the carrot. No, that wouldn't help. So neither of those. I don't think I really need either of those. He's got finalists towards me and you and Shu. Okay, everybody seems to be fairly happy, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, stick you right in the. I don't think that will change. We must prepare. Oh, changes a bit. I put you in the city. Um. You already have the best armor you can have. Oh, we can give you different stuff. So right now, you have the ranger's outfit, which is here. We can give you expert's leather. Loses five speed. Uh, negative five percent melee attack with six charge bonus. He'd lose some expertise, but get it. He'd have the same amount of authority. But he'd essentially lose six and then three more. So he'd lose nine expertise in total. I mean, I think that's okay. Go down to, what's, he's at plus 23 melee evasion. And he would go down to 19. Well, that's not too bad. Not even that much. Um, plus 20 charge bonus, we'll do that. Um, yeah, all those followers are kind of administration or faction heirs. Uh, eight satisfaction. You don't really need satisfaction, do you? Yeah, you're good. What about Lufan? Oh, I forgot to check his weapon. So he's using the GN. 11, 8, and 30, 17, 12, and 24. You lose a whole bunch of expertise again. Um, I do want higher armor piercing. So do I give you... Because this one's technically 
better than this, but you lose more expertise out of it as well. Nah, we don't want to have you lose too much for the evasion. What about Lufan? So he's using ceremonial sword, which as you can imagine, well, gives less base damage, but more armor piercing and more expertise versus authority. I think I'd rather keep the authority for him since he won't really be in combat. Um. Yeah, we'll leave that on. Um, but he is Sun C is my faction heir, and if I recall, there were some of these guys for faction heirs. We'll give that to you because you're my faction heir, and it works for you. Um, we'll leave the heirloom spear on you. What kind of accessories do we got here? Prime Minister, heir. So we can do that for plus two public order. Always be nice. People in power. Is there a bonus here too? Yep, yeah, two for people in power. Nice. Okay. Let's see if that uh, ambush works. Would be quite. Oh, is he going after the trade port? Might be going after that trade port. Seize the future. A scholar joins your faction and asks for an audience with you. Begging no disrespect, he tactfully, tactfully explains that though his previous lord was lacking in leadership qualities, he was in possession of advancements that have thus far evaded your faction. He suggests that there are many useful reforms available to those brave enough to embrace them and states that he recognizes his courage in you. You thank him for this counsel and now consider which ideas to take forward as your own. So we gain a scholar. Plus 4 cunning and plus 10% character expertise. Oh! Not expertise, experience. Sorry. Uh, maybe we should do that. Because this guy is faction, uh, prime minister, heir, or faction leader. Let me look at my commanderies here. So right now, Zhang Ling is gaining one. Zhang Sa is gaining thirteen. Uh, yeah, let's go with the scholar. I think everybody getting plus ten percent character experience will be ultimately the best thing for my entire country. Serve the people. Um, let's a bit. So I don't want to attack. Guangzhou exactly because if I if I try to attack it too fast he's gonna maybe I'll go here and I'll go with a an ambush and see what he does I could always just use him as a decoy army to pull him away from my trade port and you guys are still replenishing, so well, uh, probably best to wait. Eat military supplies. Um, oh, we have to get it for that, okay. Um, should we go for one of these? Because we're not... 249 income. Not making a lot. But I don't know if 15% uh, income is going to help. Income from commerce would help much. Uh, let's just keep going down here because that replenishment is going to be very nice to have. Um, at least I hope. I, I think it will be. <laughs> I hope it will. Usually never gotten it. Uh, my last campaign, I just never bothered to go after it. But 
10% does sound quite nice, especially with how slow replenishment is for uh, a good chunk of the game. He Yi declared war on Tao Tao. Uh, death of Cao Song. The father of warlord Cao Cao has been killed by soldiers bearing the name of Tao Quan. Uh, word is that Tao Tao will be satisfied with blood and has vowed to wipe Tao Quan out in retaliation. Alright. Cool. Doesn't affect me. People of merit. Huang Zong. I think Tao Quan is... Tao Tao is like over here. And Tao Quan is somewhere... I actually don't know where Tao Quan is. But no matter. Um... Prepare the council. What do we got? Summer? So it's probably... You guys aren't fully replenished, but I think... Well, let's just go in. My courage and loyalty lies see what happens China. here. See what we're up against for that uh, armor crafts and... Oh! Hello. Impossible. Um... Ooh. This might be. This would be a tough battle. No. Tougher, tougher battle. My heart beats so justice. maybe we should go into the trees here and ambush. Uh, let's turn this around to get the right spot for ambushing. Can we ambush anywhere here? In the trees? It's eighty percent there. Yeah, it's the closest we got. Okay, so let's Ever go forward. there. And ambush, drawn to so they can't see my army, or hopefully they don't see it. Yeah, he's going after that trade port. Feel summer's kiss and no joy. No. To standard uh, go attack. Jiang Xia. We'll get a Pyrrhic victory. Let's go with, um... Should we go with... Yeah, we'll just set this up for now. We may end up just retreating. Uh, just to see what the other guy's army is going to do. See if he's going to pull back or not. He might just pull all the way back, which is what I would like him to do. And then turn. A temporary respite. Common deals. Uh, no, I don't want peace with you, especially with that. That's insane. This you is an insult. Good, good. Everybody should insult you, Dong Zhuo. Oh, we decided to continue. Fine, they'll get it. I was kind of hoping he would run back, but apparently. Yeah, we lost the trade port, okay. Uh, shameful defeat. Defeat is inexcusable. It was it was never factored into my strategy. I need to reconsider, rethink, and make sure that this never happens again. 1950 bonus experience. Nice. I don't know why we get experience for defeat, but uh, like that, but sure. <laughs> it's nowhere even near it, but all right. Um... So that army's gone. Maybe what we should... Let's just keep going at this then. Let's go straight after this army. Close victory. He would get the garrisons. Oh! Okay. Oh, that was the... The other guy was the other gar... He, um other army that moved away. Good. I don't want to go up against that many um, archers. Alright, so we'd be attacking, they would be defending. Hmm. So they got some mounted lancers, some archers, some G militia, saber militia, and cab. I think we'll be fine with this. This says 
close victory, then we'll probably get a bit better than that. So, they'll probably end up hiding in those trees on their side. Makes them harder to dislodge at that point. But, we shall do it. And I really want to take this, uh, this settlement would be really nice to have for that bonus armor every once in a while. The time has come. At least that's the hope. The hope is we get good stuff out of it. Oh, okay. So you guys decide to sit over there. Right at, okay. Cool. Uh, we're gonna... Archers in the front. Be ready, warriors. Weapons. Let's do that. Warriors. Uh, put you Axis. guys in a group. Archers in Stand a group. Ready. Put the G infantry on the flanks. Like that. Uh, these guys also on the flanks. Look out! Enemy reinforcements are here! Yep, that'll be a little bit. Well, are they gonna come to me? Okay, I mean, sure. Yeah, if you want. Archers at hand. Ready. Ready. Weapons ready. ready. Get moving. Our men have been discovered. And we're not raised. Okay. I'll uh oh wait, you go after them. Down there and see if 
Uh, Sun Jian. Because that's going to be a problem. Shit. Our men have no ammunition. They cannot fire. Now, at the ready. Take heed, warrior. Spearmen, attend. To attention. Unleash fury. Red. Move, move. Go. Fuck Unleashed it. Just attack the bloody archers. It's not working very well. Uh, over here. That's why you're going so slow, that's what happens. This is what happens when they're exhausted, they move like two miles an hour. Um, oh, no, 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 get the hell back here. Put you right over there. Look, the enemy run! Craven! You guys, actually, hold on. And just go straight at their archers there. You take on. Just get rid of them, so they can't uh, can't come back. Oh no! The break. Our warriors run. Craven dogs. All right, throw the archers. It's like a last resort here. There we go. Ooh. All right, claim victory. Okay, so that was a close victory then. All right, I was hoping for better, but. I didn't, I didn't expect them to charge me there. That was an interesting tactic. And... Yeah, yeah those spearmen got wrecked. Unfortunately. Our enemies have been vanquished. Ooh, nice. 12 heroism. Very good. Um, should we go for income? Plan, let's go for Shield for battle. My Makes courage sense. and loyalty lies with China. Cry, let's war. take the armor craftsman. Excellent. I think for this, we'll probably just, yeah, we'll just straight up auto resolve it because it's a decisive victory and against 103 guys just isn't worth fighting on battle. So it's delegates, and we should be victorious. Today we humble. We have now foes. taken the armor craftsman. Nice. Three heroism. Eh, so great, but oh well. Rule with honor. Okay. So it's twenty upkeep per turn. This craftsman can produce exceptional armor with a very small chance of producing unique armor. Uh, because plus five prestige, uh, five. Reserve capacity, uh, learning and market buildings, construction costs reduced by 10%. 
Not a massively good garrison, but... Oh, Jesus, that goes up to 60%. Ooh, wow. 20 to 60. So, yeah, this thing does cost a lot to upkeep. Didn't actually, uh... I didn't actually realize it actually had an upkeep cost. So early. It's only at level 1. So there's only 3 levels. It goes 20, 60, and 100. The chance... With a very small... Okay, so this is... Uh, first one's very small, second one's very small chance, and the third one is just a chance. Okay, so it's it's a better chance than three, but that... Oof. We won't be upgrading that for a while. I didn't realize it was going to do that. But. Um, what's the siege look like over here? Okay, we'll continue the siege there. And I think that is it. Oh, it we have some upgrading here. Lufan. Lufan is right now an administrator, right? He is my administrator, yes. So I will give you um or you already have those. Uh, we're president, we're commanding. Plus five food production. Uh, generals? What does that mean? Plus five food production generals. I've never heard of that one before. Oh! Oh, so that just gave us outright five food. Nice. Okay, I, I was confused by the general part. I don't know what that meant. But we can do another assignment as well. So we put Sun C in here for negative three mustering turns. Uh, own armies and local commandery. We must and these guys are mustering anyways. Or Lady Wu, which would give us peasantry income. Um, how are these two areas? This is giving us 207 from peasantry. And this is giving us 70, or no, 336. So we should put you in Jiangling. Put Lady Wu there, plus 50% income. That's nice. Assignments. Just telling me we got that assigned. Uh, what was it? Chang Sa, we could upgrade something. Oh, just the armor. Craftsman. Okay. Um, okay. But uh, since this is the end of the turn, I'm just going to call it here for the episode. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like, subscribe, and comment if you guys are enjoying the series so far. And see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.